Hello and welcome to Driver's Therapy. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the ASC A7 heating and cooling test. And I just took the test a few hours ago, so it's all fresh, and I passed by the way, woohoo! But in this video, I'm gonna be helping you guys pass your test by giving you information or directing you to the proper sources so you guys can get all that data, information, and be able to study a little bit better. All right, so let's kick off. We're gonna be talking, in this video, we're gonna be talking about what study guides I used, what, what things I watched, like as far as sources and information I got to help myself learn about topics or just freshen up, and also my experience and where I think you guys should focus when you're studying. So the first thing is, I've been using these Delmar books that I bought on Amazon for a long time. Uh, well, not a long time, but for the past five tests. And I've passed them all. Now, the reviews are mixed on Amazon, and rightfully so, they have errors and issues. I did email the company and offered to fix them, but I never got anything back but they are quite helpful and I, I, I'm gonna stand by them because they really helped me out. So this is how I study using the Del Mar study guide. So inside the Del Mar study guide, there's six practice tests. And what I do is I take one practice test at a time, usually one every two days or so, depending on my schedule. And then when I grade myself, I'm grading myself, but when I run into something that I don't know, like I'm completely like lost in it, I'll write it in a separate piece of paper so I could research on it. And we'll talk about how I research that here. Once I've completed all six practice tests, some time has lapsed over, uh, maybe a couple weeks. So what I do is I go back after doing all my studying and researching, I'll go back and redo the six test. It's a little tedious and sometimes it's hard. Sometimes I'll cram it in a couple of days. Uh, I think yesterday I crammed all six tests in one day. It was a long day. And essentially what that does is that when I take those six tests again, I realize I've learned a lot. And if there's something that I'm still not catching, the, the practice test doing it the second time will let me know like you still need to research this. All right, so what do I I do to research whenever I find something, an area, a topic that I don't know about for the test? Well, one of the biggest thing is I use YouTube, like you guys are using it. And I have to give credit where credit's due because this guy is awesome. I feel like I'm at a trade school, but essentially when I'm watching this guy, I feel like I'm in school and he's a great presenter and he, he really has great methodology to teach you. And I think it's a great channel and I want to share with you guys. So his, the channel is Mick. Houston, here's a screenshot of it. And essentially, he's just gonna be teaching you about whatever subject you want. And uh, as far as the AC test goes, they're automotive. And I really like it. Some of his videos are 30 minutes long. Uh, in particular, the, a the AC system, he, he actually does like an extra supplemental video where he talks about the AC system more in depth. And he gives some, like some practice questions. So he really helps out a lot in this. When I get confused or I really wanna understand how a procedure works, because there's a difference between like sitting and he's lecturing about topics and about systems, but sometimes I like to actually watch a hands-on like video of like a uh, process, in particular in ASC, like how to charge a system or evacuation a system or vacuum a system or, 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 or adding oil to the a a AC system. And somebody who I really like is Eric the Car Guy. I'm sure you guys heard of him and also Chris Fix. Now I watch those guys whenever I'm looking at the, the kind of get an idea of like, okay, I've done this procedure before, but I want, I want to make sure that I cross verify it with somebody else doing it make sure that I did it correctly or if I've never done a procedure I need to watch this so I can understand how it works because I could read it but when you're watching it and seeing somebody do it you know it helps so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put the links down to the videos or actually just to the channels that I find very helpful that I think you guys should watch. Also, I really recommend you get a study guide. Don't try to approach this on yourself or just try to fill in the gaps. What a study guide does, doesn't matter who it's from, whatever company it is, but it does is it really helps you narrow down subjects that you need to be focusing on. And I'll be honest with you, I just took the test and really a lot of the subjects were a key in everything that I read in the study guide and also watching McHugh, McHugh sorry, <laughs> the really cool YouTube guy, and, uh, and that really helped out a lot. Again, the other guys who are doing services or repairs on YouTube, that's just gonna help you just kinda tie everything together, uh, essentially. But the test, the test went pretty well. Um, I remember, I can't give you specific questions, but I can tell you areas to understand. So I, got, I really was focusing mostly on the AC system, and, uh, and and I kind of uh, overlooked a little bit of the heating. So you kind of, in my opinion, you guys really go understand how a heater works and you also want to understand how a heater reacts when it's clocked up. I know that's just out of random, but I really recommend that because um, whenever you're diagnosing an issue, lack of heat, there's only so many things that could be that. So you really want to understand what could cause a lack of heat and understand how the heater core works, understand how heat works, the control valve and such.
Another thing I really recommend as far as AC system goes is the electronic troubleshooting part. Now you want to learn, uh, you want to understand, now hopefully you understand how to troubleshoot electronics. I really recommend, uh, you know, you understanding how to use a, a digital multimeter, understand how to read the schematics, and really know how a relay works. Uh, because uh, definitely all across the board, practice guides and everything, you're going to run into electrical questions and you really under, need to understand how relays work and how system works. Another thing I also notice is, is dual climate control systems or automatic temperature control systems. You want to understand how those little sunlight or ambient temperature sensors work. You really want to understand um, how an actual dual climate control system works. That's something that I really hadn't had a lot of experience on because my older cars didn't have dual climate control systems. But one of the neat things that I learned about is that you, you would assume that they have dual everything, but really all they mostly have is dual blend doors. And the blend door is of course what mixes the hot and cold air. So understanding, remember, the main thing is understanding the theory of operation before everything. And the last thing I'm gonna leave you with and I recommend you doing is at the end of your studying, you should be able to get out a blank sheet of paper and you should be able to draw two types of AC systems. You should be able to draw the first, uh, the TXV valve, I think I said that correct. Forgive me if I messed that one up, but I, so much information here. But you wanna be able to draw, draw out the compressor, to, to the condenser, you know, to the receiver and dryer, you know, to, to, you know, the evaporator and such. And then you also want to be able to do the orifice tube. You want to be able to do that off of your head and understand how that works. You're also going to want to know where the hot line is and cold line is, high pressure and low pressure, where in the system it turns from gas to liquid and then back to gas. So that's some important stuff that I really recommend you guys to do. Well, I'm going to end this video with that. I think that's a lot of information. Make sure to look at the description side for all any for the video links I'm going to give you to the guys who really helped me understand a lot of stuff that I was trying to learn and uh, and everything. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really recommend you guys to subscribe. Please, I know it's like please. Uh, it really helps out. And not only that, when I drop a new video, uh, you guys will let you know that I dropped a new video. And also, I appreciate it. Well, guys, you take care, stay safe, and we'll talk to you soon.